Okay, I'm going to show you something that you have never seen before. I have a 2x2x1 two by two by inch neodymium iron boron. I have a rather large amount of radioactive tritium in this vial. And in some highly purified and ionized water, I have another vial of radioactive tritium. If I were to actually break this thin vial, this is, uh, if I were to inhale it, there's enough in here to kill me. Um, I would actually have to immediately open up all the doors and windows and evacuate the house, so i got to be careful doing this. And here, I'm not going to demonstrate this in this video, but I have some liquid mercury here. Hold on. I want to show you something neat. You'll see this glowing once I turn the lights off. And uh, This is the dielectric inertial plane of the magnet. And of course, tritium is a strong beta emitter. Here you can actually see the rod of tritium and this is the other rod of tritium here let me bring it into the camera so you can see it hold on a second here we go you can actually see it's smaller rod of radioactive tritium in the vial let me take the larger rod I can be so careful with these I mean I'm serious if I break this I'm up I'm up crap creek I'm going to actually, while not letting it fall onto the metal surface, I'm going to let you see something here. You see how the uh, tritium rod actually rolls? It'll actually pull itself. Look at that. There's not a dip there. It's completely flat. Let me show you something. I'm letting it go. It will roll right to the plane of dielectric inertia just like velcro right to the center midpoint between either quote-unquote pole of the magnet it's fascinating you will also know something else you'll never see this either let me show it to you in a second but let me show you that again right to the middle just like velcro now I want you to look up something else it's called Chernikov radiation it's a, a product of a beta emission in distilled, highly purified water in nuclear reactors. This is an absolute hardcore fact. It's called Cherenkov radiation, and it travels, it is known, to travel faster than the speed of light. This is not my opinion, feeling, or belief. Look it up. You'll find it everywhere all over the web. Oh, well, nothing travels faster than the speed of light. By the way, there's no such thing as a speed of light. It is a rate of induction. And there's a reason for this, and I'll explain it in my book on Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism, how Chernikov radiation works. But I'm going to show you Chernikov radiation, if my camera will let you see it, the blue radiation. Now, these are green tritium vials. There will be a blue emission inside this ionized water with a smaller vial of radioactive tritium. But watch this as I actually place the tritium rod perpendicular. Let me show you what I'm doing right now. I'm placing the rod perpendicular to the plane of inertia of the magnet. You'll actually see, if you look closely, a null point right at the center here. It's either bright on either side, but it's a dim in the center where the beta emissions from the radioactive tritium are actually flowing. They're literally being sucked into uh, the plane of inertia on this large magnet. Hey, be careful with this rod. I mean, I would have a hissy fit if I broke this rod. Just about literally, I would have a hissy fit. It's uh, ever so slightly dangerous. A large vial of tritium like that is no bueno. So here, I'm gonna show you this. This is another rod of radioactive tritium. But I'm gonna try to show you if my camera can show let you see it. Let me place it. Oops, I hit the camera. Hold on a second. I could show you here. I could zoom in or bring the camera just a wee bit closer. You'll actually see blue light. I've got my head right next to the camera. You'll actually see a very slight blue haze forming around the plane of inertia where the tritium is being released inside the ionized water. And if I place it this way, you can actually see it except it's polarized perpendicular to the plane of inertia. It's this faint blue glow. 
Let me get this other tritium rod out of the way so you can see it better. Hope to God you can see it better. And that's Chernikov, Cherenkov radiation. And uh, you can look this up. And uh, there's actually pictures of it. It's a bluish light that's emitted uh, from uh, nuclear reactors inside the uh, super distilled and ionized water, the irradiated ionized water. This is ionized and irradiated water. It's not radioactive water. It is irradiated and ionized. But there's this faint blue glow when you place it. See, it doesn't exist here, but when I place it along the plane of inertia, this excites the beta radiation from the radioactive tritium to release that radiation that is literally traveling faster than the speed of light. It's literally tachyon radiation. <laughs> this isn't my premise. Even the, uh, the cult of quantum, but they have no explanation for it. Why nothing travels faster than the speed of light. Oh, really? You can look this up anywhere. It's on thousands of websites. It's called Cherenkov radiation. Okay? Be careful with these tritium vials. I, I, oh my god, I gotta be careful with them. Now here's something else. I'm not going to show it to you right now, but I have a vial of liquid mercury here. I want to ask you a question. What do you think happens when I submerge a large vial most of the way in liquid mercury and place it along the plane of inertia? on a super powerful neodymium magnet. Does it float? Does it submerge? Or does it do something magical? Which I can't show you with this camera, but if you want to repeat this experiment, you gladly can. Will emit a super fine aura of electrostatic emission. The interaction of the radioactive tritium vial the liquid mercury and the dielectric plane of inertia from the supermagnet. This rod right here that I'm holding that scares the piss out of me because there's enough gas in here to kill me, literally. I don't actually like handling stuff like this. This is like handling a loaded gun and pointing it at your forehead, meaning my forehead. And it, if I broke it, I would immediately shut my nose and mouth and open all the doors and windows and have to stand outside and turn a fan on. Let me place this down over here very, very carefully. <laughs> there we go. Careful, careful. Um, fascinating. That's it. Cheren Look it up. Don't take my word for it. Look up Cherenkov radiation. Faster than light. It's tachyon um, emissions. It's going faster than the speed of light. But as I've told you before in my book and in countless videos, there's no such thing as a speed of light. It is a rate of induction. But that rate of induction is only a rate of induction because light has transverse reciprocating electrical magnetic components. Beta emissions do not have transverse components. They are longitudinal emissions. And beta emissions are not particles, by the way. People thought, oh yeah, beta, yeah, beta, beta emissions is a particle emission. No, it's not. It's not a particle emission. A particle would have magnitude. Any particle would be a mass which has magnitude. And anything which has magnitude has dimensionality and anything that has dimensionality couldn't even approach the speed of light much less supersede the speed of light so the notion that beta emissions are particle emissions is as absurd as the notion of an electron particle the principle of the electron is not in question but Nikola Tesla and the greatest scientist and minds of electrical theory and engineering denied the notion of a charged particle or that the, there was such thing as a, a, a particle that carried or was the transmitter of charge. The same thing is here on beta emissions in this ionized and irradiated water. You're actually seeing a Cherenkov, I keep mispronouncing that, Cherenkov radiation. Blue radiation when placed, the longitudinal, see they have high dielectric capacitance, have incredible dielectric permeability. It is literally a tachyon emission. 
It is literally going faster than the speed of light. You don't have to take my word on this. Google it. It's even on Wikipedia, for Christ's sakes. Cherenkov radiation. Nothing travels faster than the speed of light. Well, yeah, there is. It is known to travel faster than the speed of light. So now, placing such an entity inside of liquid mercury over the plane of inertia of a supermagnet, now answer me on producing electrostatic energy. I can't say that there's zero input, so it's certainly not over unity, but placing that large um, tritium vial, that's a beta emitter, um, floating within liquid mercury along a plane of inertia, i.e. acceleration, is taking a luminal emission, which is not luminal because it has no transverse magnitude. Beta emissions are not like light. They do have the byproduct of emitting blue light, but since they have no magnitude and are longitudinal, they transcend the speed of light. This is a hardcore fact. I don't, this is the one time I'm actually agreeing with science. The, not that I'm ever in disagreement with science. I'm always in agreement with the facts. But this is the one time that, you know, there's endless thousands of, uh, of, uh, of nuclear reactors out there. And Cherenkov radiation is a known entity. And it is also a known entity that this super strange, and it's not strange if you know what's going on, emission is traveling faster than the speed of light. But the speed of light is not a speed. It is a rate of induction. But that rate of induction is superseded by beta emissions because it is a longitudinal emission with no transverse components. That is why it is able to go, quote unquote, faster than the speed of light. So, I'm glad I could show you this interesting little demo. If you want to repeat this, most of you folks in Europe and Canada cannot get dangerous, nasty big rods of radioactive tritium. And I don't like messing with it myself because if I break it and it's in a thin glass vial, um, I'm going to have a hissy fit and a cow and run around like a schoolgirl with its head cut off, a chicken with its head cut off. But, uh, there you go. Beta emissions and tritium vials. Thank you for watching. Catch you later.